What up, citizen soldiers? So I really need y'all's opinion on a situation that's going on right now. Um, the situation really upsets me. It has to do with my ex, Kamisha. Um, if y'all don't know who Kamisha is, Kamisha was my ex-girlfriend when I was in Iraq. Uh, we come from the same town. Or we grew up in the same town. Didn't really know her in high school. <clears throat> Started talking to her once I deployed. And we ended up falling in love. Uh, we split up. We had a bad breakup. Um, I said disrespectful things, which were my last words to her. And um, it taught me that situation taught me a lot about respect and watching what I say to people, because it could be your last words to them. But she was murdered by her new boyfriend, and he ended up. It was a homicide, suicide. The army tried to cover it up. And they try to say it was friendly fire, um, when it was really nothing friendly about it. Um, I went to Kamisha's grave a year ago, or last August. It was my first time to go to her grave uh, in like four years. I went to her grave as soon as I got back from Iraq, but I didn't go for four years after that. Finally went to her grave, and I recorded a video there. And in that video, I mentioned how I was going to do, um, wanted to share our love letters. You know, our letters that we passed when I was in Iraq, um, back in the MySpace days. <laughs> I wanted to do that because I thought it was something I needed to do. I ended up not doing that series for about six plus months after I came up with the idea. Because I spent time thinking about whether I was going to actually do the series or not. Because I knew people would get upset, like our family and friends. Some people would get upset because they are personal letters. But I'm sorry, I'm not that personal. I'm not that, I'm not that personal of a person. I'm not that personal. Obviously, if I share a lot of stuff on YouTube... Well, I was going through a hard time dealing with some things about Kamisha, some uh, drama was going on, and I really felt like that was the time that I need to read the letters and go through them because I think that's part of the grieving process was actually going through those letters um, and not just grieving of the loss of her, but grieving with my PTSD and all that. Um, so I read the letters, shared them, I got people's input. Um, and it really helped me out a lot. Hopefully it helped other people out. Because a lot of my videos not only help me, and that's the reason why I do them, because they help me, but they also help others. Um, an example of this is I did a video about Sergeant Snell. Sergeant Snell was, um, we were in a sniper attack. He got killed. I did a video about him. I don't know Sergeant Snell. I talked to him once or twice when we were at one of the combat outposts. He seemed like a very good guy. Um, I shared my view of what happened because uh, it was an experience that unfortunately he was involved in. The same goes for Kamisha. I shared our experiences because you know it helps it get off, get shit off my chest, and help me like fully process things, I guess. And they help others. Well, Sergeant Snell's son contacted me on Facebook and he said. Thank you for making that video. It was very comforting knowing that the person who killed my dad got caught. You know, and it was very. <laughs> it, put, it brought a smile to my face that knowing that I could help his son. I mean, I wasn't expecting that at all. You know, I wasn't expecting any of his family to even see the video. But I'm glad that he wasn't as upset as Kamisha's parents are. Um, I got a call from Kamisha's parents today, asked me to remove love letters from my rack that they feel, feel like I'm disrespectful because Kamisha was a private person and I'm sharing not such private or uh, private moments with the world. Um, yeah, Kamisha was private, but to say that Kamisha would not want this, that she wouldn't be happy that I'm doing this, is not a fair judgment. Um, I hate to say this, but Kamisha's dead. She doesn't have no feelings. Um, we can't ask her. We can't go, hey, Kamisha, is it alright if I do this? 
you know, would you support it or not? So technically, we don't know how she would exactly feel. Um, to sit there and say that you, she wouldn't want this by any means is ridiculous in my eyes. That's just you. That's your feelings, not hers. That's her parents' feelings for feeling that way. And I wish I knew exactly why they're so upset. The real reason, because from what they're telling me, I don't really fully know why they're upset. I mean, yeah, they have all the right to be upset about a sensitive subject. Because, yeah, it is a sensitive subject. It's even a sensitive subject for me, and I've grieved a lot. It's still sensitive. That's obviously a sensitive subject. I'm fucking making a video about it right now. But... It, it just irritates me that her parents can't support me doing something that helps me and helps others. I mean, because I learned a very strong life lesson from me and Kamisha crossing paths with each other. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I learned to watch what I say to people. Not just people I care about, but people in general. To everybody I try to watch what I say I try to say shit I don't mean I'm human sometimes I do get upset and say stuff I don't mean but I try to apologize if it goes to that point but I try my hardest not to let it go to that point because it's not easy being such hateful so hateful or saying hateful words that you don't mean to somebody you love and then those are your last words to them I mean it fucking sucks and that's one of the lessons I wanted to share by sharing the story behind me and Kamisha. Because like I said, it helps me and it helps others. The way it helped me was it helped me get some input from other people. And it also, the way I helped others was I helped them. Maybe I make somebody realize that, wow, I do need to watch what I say to people. You know, maybe it could be the last time I talked to them, and boy, wouldn't I feel like shit if it, they were words full of hate, you know. But to sit there and threaten to call the cops and file harassment charges on me, and then her dad wants to threaten saying I have an ass whooping coming is, that's fucking disrespectful to me. I'm sorry, that crosses the line. I didn't do anything disrespectful to your daughter. I haven't tried to degrade her like Maximal Magazine and the media did when they degraded her. I wasn't the asshole who killed your daughter. You know, so don't fucking take out your pain on me. Just because you're upset at what I did. You can't control my actions. You can ask me, you know, say, hey, I don't appreciate you doing these videos. Um, they hurt me. Um, you know, they make me upset doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to take them down because one thing I've learned in life is no matter what you do it's going to offend somebody out there. People got mad at me for doing the Sergeant Snell video but there's people who told me that thanked me for doing that video. Some of Kamisha's friends told me you know they didn't like the fact that I was doing a video about her but then the love letters are Iraq they support it because it helped them feel like they're living with Kanisha, you know, like she's here. They're hearing her words straight from her mouth, you know, and it brought them good feelings. So it's a mixed situation, so I'm not going to remove the videos. Uh, what would y'all do if y'all was in my shoes? I mean, I, I, I don't have anything against her parents. <laughs> I mean, I would really wish that this situation wasn't even happening right now. I mean, I cried when I got off the phone with them because I was upset that this is even happening right now. Um, I had no intentions in hurting anybody whatsoever. And I, uh, I knew that her parents probably wouldn't like it. Uh, I went ahead and did it. But because I needed to do what's best for me. You know, when you're healing and you're trying to get your life going, you know, sometimes you need to put yourself before others. So when it comes to my feelings and me trying to get my life on track, get my life going, I'm 25 fucking years old and I have nothing going, you know, 
I want to get my life going. And the way I'm trying to do that is through my YouTube. You know, I'm trying to make this my income because I have huge plans. You know, if I make decent money off this, I have big plans of what I want to do. And it's not just for selfish reasons, it's to help this world. But sadly, we need money to survive. And my government supports me right now. And I fucking hate that because I don't support my government, so I don't want them supporting me. And I'm not going to go get a job I don't like. Life's too short, but yet so long to do things that don't make you happy. I did a job that I hated. I hated the military. I didn't hate everything about it, but as a whole, I didn't like it whatsoever. It was not for me from the get-go. And it put my... It, look, I've been out of the military for four years and my life's still on hold right now. But the reason I'm talking about trying to get my life on track is because YouTube. YouTube's my... I share my experiences with everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you for saying bless you, if anybody did. But my past... Okay. Since we're trying to say YouTube's like my job in a way, you know, I'm trying to make it that. What Things that happened in my life and things that are going to happen in my life. We'll say the things that happened in my life in my past... It's kind of like my resume, okay? And I'm so sorry that Sergeant Snell, and Kamisha, and bad things like that are part of my resume. I can't change that. But I'm not going to remove, stop doing what I do that's obviously working for me. Obviously it's healing me. And obviously I've helped others. And I'm not going to stop it just because... A couple people get offended by what I do. I mean, if I was to stop doing what I do just because somebody gets offended, because I, I mean, I did used to be that type of person who tried to take everybody's feelings into consideration, and what did that leave me? That left me a Sorry it cut out, man, I need a fucking better camera. Sorry, I'm fucking pissed off right now. But what did that leave me? That left me an unhappy motherfucker. And for the most part, right now, I'm a happy motherfucker. And I'm not going to change going back to old ways that weren't working for me. And I know they don't work for me. I know that I know what that path leads to when I try to take everybody's feelings into consideration about every little thing I do. It leaves me unhappy. And I'm not going to have everybody else happy around me and me not be unhappy. Or, yeah, me not be happy. You know, I want to be happy. I haven't been depressed in since last November. That's like the longest I've gone without being depressed. I'm loving my life right now. Even though it's not 100% of what I want it to be. Or it's, you know, I don't even know if it's 50%. I just know I'm pretty fucking happy right now. And I'm not going around, I'm not going on that path I've been down before. And I know where it leads. So to Kamisha's parents, friends, or anybody else who's going to get offended by me not granting her you know, the wishes of removing these videos just because it hurts their feelings. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel that way. But, like I said, I'm not going to just delete stuff out of my past. They're not share stuff just because it can offend somebody. You know, it's... You know, is it... Are you upset? Are you upset because you went to the media before and it didn't turn out good? I mean, you had Maximum, Mag Maximum Magazine sit, sit there and say, we're from a dirty air dot on the map of Texas, a small, air, small dirty air dot, or that um, town of 11,000 souls that live in gun shacks and trailers. And then when they go to the talk about the person who killed her, and they just say, oh, he's from a town in Alabama or something like that, that's all they say. They don't describe his town, they don't degrade the town he's from or anything about him, and he's the fucking murderer. I mean, is that why you're upset at me? Because it kind of brings back those feelings? You know, I don't understand why you're so upset about what I'm doing. And I don't want y'all mad at me. I don't want y'all to hate me just because I'm doing something for me and that helps others.
you know. But if that's what it comes to, I'm not going to back down on my beliefs and what I'm doing. I'm not. It's not going to happen. If I clearly did something disrespectful, everybody would let me know. Trust me, people let me know in the past when, like, for Kamisha's video I did about R.I.P. Kamisha Block at the end, back when I used to say peace bitches at the end, I said that at the end, somebody called me out and said, the peace bitches at the end of the video killed it. And I was like, you're right. You know, thanks for pointing that out. So if I'm completely disrespectful in my videos or whatever, people will let me know. And the love letters I rack and everything about Kamisha that I've done, nobody's really said that I was disrespectful, I was degrading her, things like that. So I don't see what the problem is. You know, but if you want to file charges on me, her harassment charges, just because I'm talking about her or whatever, go ahead and do it. You know, I don't want it to go to that, but if that's what you want it to go to, do it. Just know that you're causing yourself more pain than what you need. I don't like to see y'all hurt. I like to see, I would love to see y'all doing, you know, her family and her friends doing like I'm doing. Taking it how I'm taking it. Because I believe I'm taking it pretty fucking well. Compared to what I was just like two years ago. Back when you just talk about just even thinking of the thought of Kamisha what made me cry and now I talk talk about it like it's just you know another story you know it's not that I haven't forgot her that <laughs> nothing like that it's just what's the point of getting sad all the fucking time you know it's just fucking grieve but don't bring people down and upset other people just because you're upset you know my videos are on YouTube if you see a video coming from Texas Grown 409, the Iraq veteran, don't watch the fucking videos. It is that simple. You can avoid upsetting yourself if you just don't watch the video. If you would have never watched it, you wouldn't be upset right now. And like I said, I'm so sorry you're upset. I, I feel bad for that. But it's still not going to change me stopping and doing what I'm doing. And trying to accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish. Just because you're upset. You know. Because I don't. Honestly I don't see any reason. For you to be upset. Because you can say that. Oh she wouldn't like this. Like I said earlier. That Kamisha wouldn't like what I'm doing. But you do not 100% know that. Because she's not here right now. She can't answer that question for you. You know. She's gone. She doesn't have feelings right now like we do. She's in a better place. But I'm here on earth. I have feelings. And I gotta watch out for myself. I gotta watch out for my feelings and what's best for me. Call me If anybody wants to call me a heartless <clears throat> asshole or whatever, fuck it. I'm an asshole then, okay? Sorry, Kamisha dated an asshole. You know, I don't think I'm an asshole, though. I, I can be an asshole. But I try not to be. I try to be respectful to people, but you can't you can't please everybody. It's impossible. Trust me, I've done it and I failed. Anyways, what y'all's input on that? You know, what would y'all do? Would y'all respect her parents' wishes of removing those videos? Or what? I'm just curious. I had my mind set up. I'm a pretty stubborn person. I can be pretty stubborn and I have my mind made up. That I haven't done anything disrespectful and I feel no need to remove the videos. I want to keep them up there. And one last thing. See the sexy goatee? It's going to come off. And I think I'm going to record it. Do y'all want to watch that? Let me set, shaving off my sexiness. I ain't doing no military type shave. I don't want to cut myself. I might kill myself. <laughs> it's been a while since I've like had a rush shaving. You know? Two minute shit shower and shave you got two minutes to shit shower and shave maybe I need to do a skit like that for war stories hmm that sounds pretty good do a little skit of like getting ready in the morning <laughs> I don't know anyways thanks for listening to me ran on I'm pretty upset about this and um I don't know Kamisha's anniversary is coming up 
Like right now, I can't even think of the date. I think it's the 16th. And if I'm wrong, I will feel like complete shit. But I think it's the August 16th. It's the 16th or 18th when she passed away. <sighs> I think it's the 16th though. I don't know. Anyways, her anniversary is coming up this month, and it seems like it's just going to be all out fighting, and it's all my fucking fault. And if everybody's mad, then it, everybody be mad at me, but, you know, I'm just, I'm going to do what I feel I need to do, whether people like it or not. I'm sorry. Anyways, anybody who leaves me some input, I really appreciate it, and I appreciate y'all listening to me rant. I really needed to do this video because I was getting pretty irritated. Anyways, it always cheers me up when I talk to y'all. And um, to Kamisha, I'm really sorry I'm upsetting your parents right now. You know that that's definitely not my intentions. Um, hopefully, <clears throat> Kamisha's best friend gave me the idea to write them a letter, um, pretty much explaining exactly why I did this uh, because it is when you're upset and you're on the phone it's kind of hard to talk to some people sometimes I'm not saying that they're hard to talk to because I was getting upset myself I accidentally cussed um, Kamisha's mom I apologize for that you so happen to watch this but like I said I, I just don't understand all this just like how you don't understand it on your end I don't understand it either and I would like to come together and try to so we can understand you know but I don't know Maybe it won't happen. Maybe it will. If it does, hopefully it does. But if not, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing because I'm not going back to being that sad motherfucker I used to be. All right, It's not happening. Anyways, much love from the Iraq veteran.